Hey, young man, what's going on? Why is she in my way? Hello, young lady. I'm sorry you're in my way. I'm trying to drive in. I actually walk here too. Really? Yes. Oh. Tell me. What's wrong with your car? I, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong. Please come help me. Wow. Okay. Wow. Your office is nice. Thank you. You're doing very well. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, come in. Good morning, boss. Good morning. Boss, you are set for the meeting. Oh, that's very brilliant. So just tell them I'll be with them shortly, all right? Okay. Thank you. Hey, boss? Wait, you own this place? Uh -huh. Wow. I'm impressed. <laughs> I really am. Fine. So um, tell me, what's up? Where have you been? Oh, all over the place. Like... All over. You haven't changed at all. Who is this? Oh, pardon my manners. That's my wife. I'm married now. Wow! That's good for you. <laughs> She's beautiful. Yeah, thank you. you can say that again. <laughs> so proud of you. You're all grown up and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Let me just leave you to your meeting. I have to. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're not rushing to anywhere. Listen. Once we do dinner today, you know, you come to my house, you meet my wife, she gets to meet you, you know, have a little reunion. Hey, come on, there's nothing to think about. I've missed you, I mean, for all time's sake. Listen, here's my card. Call me. Tonight. Okay. Dinner. You know, right, we need to catch up. Catch up. It's been a while. Right. Boss. <laughs> then you boss things, he's going. Oh, come on, get out of here. <laughs> Listen, call me. Hello, babe. What's up? Oh, you're outside. Yeah, just one for you now. You open. All right. Thank you. Good. Thank okay. you, love. How about this one? Oh, you got something for me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Is this your house? Mm hmm. <laughs> this guy must be that stuff, you know. You have not seen anything yet. Don't worry. Just go in for the house. for social network. You've really done well for yourself. Isn't that every woman's thing? Hmm. I don't know about them. Just speaking for myself. <laughs> you too, girl. You have not changed. <laughs> I was hoping to see your wedding pictures on social network, but you didn't post any of them. I hope so was status changed. You know me now. I'm a very very person. This social network thing. That's him, yeah? Oh, yeah, that's my Sammy. Oh, he's the king of my heart. He's king. 
Thank you. What does he do? Well, he does his own business. Interior decorations. Established man, eh? Hmm. I guess. He was not established before we met him. He was just the grace of God that made things better and it's fine. Alright, enough of me. What's up with you? How is Jack? What's time? What happened? What else? The fool didn't want a woman who speaks up. You know your friend now. Don't like to be controlled. Uh -uh. That's so 12th century like now. Hey baby. What's up? Oh. Uh okay. Yeah. Seven is fine. <laughs> Alright. I love you too. Good job, I love you too. Bye. Sorry, that was my husband. Oh, it's fine. He's coming with his friend for dinner. You want to come? You should join us. Oh, nah. Why? Hmm. I don't want to be an intruder. Intrude? Sonia, <laughs> you're practically family. Girl, not today, maybe next time. I'm not happy. I'm not happy, but next time it's fine though. Hmm. You have to show me around. Oh, yeah. Sure. All right, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, babe, what's up with the apartment? Oh, I love it. In fact, I'm already looking up for this standard interior decoration to Interior handle. decorator? Yeah. Ah, what's up my husband? He's a decorator. Did you see the living room? He's one that designed the house. He's good. Trust me, babe. He will love his designs. Oh, I'm so sorry. I've already given up this company to handle. Cut it up, John. You just a phone call. You cut the deal off. Try my husband, babe. You will like him. Look, he's good. I'm not saying this because of my husband. He's really good. I'm sorry, dear. Not on this issue. I've paid already. Oh, wow. Well, I'll... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, I think I should be on my way now. No, no. Just wait. My husband will be back. I want him to meet you. <laughs> I would have loved to, maybe some other time. But I have this appointment to catch up with. It's coming. Let's see you again. Baby. Well, I feel the amazing thing. Sorry, I can't see you. You know I have something on fire. No, it's okay. It's okay. Thank I'm you. Right, I'll call you. Yeah? All right. Just no let me know when you're past that. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Yeah, how are you? Who passed that card? Madam's friend. Madam. Madam's friend? Where is she? Yeah. Baby, I'm home. Oh.
Welcome to my house. Your house is beautiful, Sammy. Thanks to my beautiful wife, she made it all possible. Mm. <laughs> he said so much about you. Well, I can't say the same, but it's nice to meet you. Babe, this is Cassie. Cassie? Cassie. My wife. Yeah. Cassie. Alright. Who is there? But do you remember that time you asked Naomi to meet you at the school canteen? <laughs> she turned up with four other friends. And my friend here <laughs> had money to just buy snack food too. <laughs> I mean, enough stories about me, please. What? I have not even said I was ended. Don't do this to me, I beg you. Please. You know I love to tell about parts. So how long have you been a child? Oh, um, roughly three weeks. Oh. Three weeks? Mm -hmm. And you didn't call me? There was no way in this world. I would have thought you still live here. Okay. I'm sorry. But I'm still around for a while. What are you around for? Work stop? Yeah. So where do you stay? Uh, for now I'm at uh, Crystal Hotels. Oh, okay. But I'm looking out for one of those houses you can rent. I think I know quite a few. I I'll give you the number. Maybe you call. Babe, wait, wait. What do you need an apartment to rent for when we have enough room so you can stay here, babe, right? I guess. Yes. You see, you can actually move in and stay with us. Oh, Sammy. That is so nice. Oh, come on, stop it. What are friends for? We've actually come a long way. Thank you. We've always had each other's back. Yeah. So. Why did you do it? To what? Ask Cassie to come live with us. Baby, I, I don't understand. Baby, I am your wife. You should have consulted me before asking her to come stay with us. Well, I'm sorry I didn't think it was going to be a big deal. Fine. It's not a problem. It's not a big deal. But you're married. I just think the right thing to do is to discuss these things with your wife before asking a grown-up adult from your past to come to come stay with us. <laughs> come on, baby. Cassie is not my past. She's just my friend. A friend you have not seen for almost a decade. The more reason I. Wait, wait. How would you feel if I ask one of my male friends to come stay with us for whatever reason? Come on, baby. It hasn't gotten to that. Okay, fine. I can understand how you feel. Listen, Cassie's a nice person. She's been nice to me in the past, all right? I, I was just trying to return the favor. Besides, I want her to meet you. You meet her. You get to meet yourselves and become friends. That's all. Friends? You're really not seeing this the way I am. <laughs> okay, fine. I understand. I totally understand where you're coming from. I promise you, no one is going to take me away from you. Okay, baby, listen. When the right time comes, I promise to explain to you why I did what I had to do. For now, I am sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you, Just baby. Leave me alone. Come Just on, leave baby. Me alone. I'm sorry now. It's not your problem. I just... It's okay. It's not bad. Hmm? I've heard you. It's your shakara. Is it not the shakara that you saw that you, you married me? Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Alright? I'm going to do it. Thank 
friend Celia. Celia, this is cousin, my husband's friend. Oh. Best friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm Sonia. completely <laughs> what really come on babes no time is enough time to know someone besides i i just i just met her some time ago yeah and i don't know her okay how do i explain this to you right now okay you remember that time i I went to Unilad to see my cousin. Oh, yeah, yeah, that time. I met her in one of the parties my cousins took me to. Okay, you married a party girl. Really? Party girl. <laughs> She's not a party girl. I met her way back. Listen. Why are you trying to judge? Don't forget, we both had our good nights together back in the day. <laughs> oh, good old days. I miss those days. Yeah. But I'm fine now. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Very happy, actually. That's my cue. Okay. Yeah. I will see you at home. What? You leave it just like that? Yeah, I'll see you later.
Okay. Sorry to interrupt. Hey, you're back. Yeah. Good evening. Sammy, please, I need your help. What's up? I need you to come check what's wrong with my car. Did you not just come back with it? Yeah, I'm going to go out with it again. So please, come help me. I'm not comfortable with the way she acts around me. Who are you talking about? Cassie? Well, baby, I told you there's nothing to worry about. I told you there's nothing to worry about. But her actions so doesn't, doesn't make somebody believe that. Baby, Cassie is generally like that with everybody. Come on, stop it. I need to go. She's waiting for me downstairs. I'm going to fix her car. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Puli, you want me to understand you, but, but you cannot even understand me. I understand you, Sammy, but I... go and meet your friend. Why are you screaming? Oh, don't leave me alone now. Go and... You said you want to fix her car. Go and meet your friend now.
I can't sleep. Why? I need to know. Know what? Maybe I can't help it. Would you oh. rather I pull my frustration out on her? Not again, baby. You wouldn't do that, would you? Look, I don't like the way she acts around you. Stop it, Tessie. What's wrong with you? Oh. Jesus Christ. All right, listen. So many years ago, my mother was very, very sick. That, that was before my father died. And the hospital couldn't admit her because we didn't have any money. To cut a long story short, Cassie was there for us. She's the reason my mother is still alive today, and that's not it all. She saw me through countless rough times while we were in school. I didn't know. Baby, I need you to drop whatever bad feelings you have about her. She's not a bad person. I need you to accept her. Accept her into our home just like I've done. I'm here for makeup tips, I guess. No offense. I came to talk. I'm all ears. Look, we, we started off on the wrong foot, and Sam told me all you did for him. Can we just start all over again as friends? Feminine perfume, two cups. What's up, son? It's an office, Cassie. Are you okay? Yeah, why? This is why you're right here. Cassie, the last time I checked, you're not my wife. Oh, jeez. Please, Daniel. Please. Your wife would be lucky to be me. What? Did you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, that shit really cracked me up. You know that, right? You don't like her, do you? I don't know. You don't know. Sam, come on. You don't get me wrong. It's your times. I feel she doesn't deserve you. Cassie, how would you know if all that anybody knew my wife? Okay, I know that look on your face. So tell me, when are you going back to the States? Already? You were trying to whisk me out of the house already. Come on, Cassie. That's not what I meant. 
Sorry. You know I never asked for this. You're the one who insisted I come to your house, even though I was ready to stay back at the hotel. I know, but my wife. I know my wife. Your wife? Oh. She's the reason you want to throw me out? Sam, so I should be the one who's married to you, not her. Have you forgotten all the sacrifices I made for you? The more reason why I brought you in. As opposed to you paying hotel bills. Listen, I just want you to get to know my wife better. I want both of you to get along before you're ready to leave. I'm trying. It's just, it's too difficult. Anytime I see you guys hug and cuddle. God, it's so crazy. Finally, it's been somewhere else since you came back from home. How's your day? Fine. Expenses with an old friend of mine I've not seen for ages. What's her name? Sonia. Do I know her? I don't think you. Sure. Excuse me. Let me take this. I don't want to listen to whatever information you have. Everyone has a past. See, I, I, I don't want to know. If, if my wife... Can we not just talk about this again? I don't want to have this conversation again! Tell me more about her. <laughs> well, she traveled out for a long while, but then we connected on social network. So you guys are like best of friends, right? Best of friends. We are more like sisters. <laughs> Sonia is a very nice lady. She's loving and caring. In fact, we stayed in the same lunch while we were in the university. The same room? No, not the same room, but the um, same. Lodge, different rooms, same lodge. I see. Are you serious about this information? I'll call you back. I have a business call to me, all right? I'm sorry, I was supposed to call you earlier before now, but I just had to clear my desk, yes. Yeah, speaking about what we discussed initially, sir. Sir, I am a professional in this business. I didn't just tell you that amount of money to extort. No, sir, I'm not extort. Sir, just look into my offer and call me back or something, alright? Sir, I'm not being harsh. I'm fine. I'm alright. I just have a few. Thank you. Thank you.
happen now? And I'll be calling your phone, your phone. You have refused to pay. Baby. Baby. Day at work. That's all. Baby, you cannot have a bad day at work and look like this. And you know it. You come back late from work and greet you, you just ignore me. And look at you, you're just sitting down here with your, your, your office clothes still on. And then you want me to just pretend like my husband is fine? Yeah, since you feel something is wrong, why don't you figure it out? Listen. Baby, what did you eat? We're going to have a serious problem if you don't stop talking to me because I just told you I'm full. I just told you I'm fine, right? Excuse me. don't know what is going on but everything changed after Cassie came to the house wow do you think something is going on <laughs> Sammy wouldn't wait but he spends more time with her have you tried talking to her and tell her what maybe I'm just being paranoid no I wouldn't say that if a woman feels her husband is cheating, then... I... I didn't say my husband is cheating. Whatever. But most times, woman's feelings are not wrong. So what do I do? Telling the so-called best friend or whatever she calls herself. That will be making things worse. But as it is right now, things are not better. Baby Sam is even talking to me. He's not talking to me. It's okay. It's okay, my dear. Don't worry, things will be fine as soon as she's gone. Alright, just stay strong for me. Just be strong for me, okay? Come on. Hey, buddy. Are you ready? Are you serious right now? Oh, you're still angry about what happened. Shouldn't I be? Just let it go. Shit happens. Hmm? Okay, can we talk about this over lunch? I'm hungry. No, 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 no. I'm driving, you don't need that. Okay, see. My office keys, right? Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. I said, where are you coming from? If you ask me that question one more time, I'm going to surprise you. And trust me, it's not going to be a good surprise. Sam. 
and he wants to be of what you just said. Look, I have every right to know about my husband's story about. You could not even call! Sammy, what is going on for heaven's sake? Just talk to me already! Talk to me, Sammy! I'm talking to you and you're screwing through your phone. What? So stop talking right now! Sometimes I forget how easy it is to judge. Then again, I remember nobody is perfect.
I'm really sorry about everything. <laughs> because I also have my own past. <laughs> the Bible says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. You are my wife. And you always be my wife. This is for better, for worse, right? I forgive you from the deepest part of my heart. Tell me three places you'd like to go to and I'll take you there. That's not what she asked me. Just tell me. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'll see Lyle. Let's, let's go see. No, that's not Hi. Okay. Yeah, she's alright. It was just the grace of God that saved my marriage after that weekend. It's serious. But how did he get it? Same question I've been asking myself. How did he get it? Who will be trying to, to just dig out my past, to just want to destroy my marriage? Who? Are you sure he's not that Cassie of a girl? Why would she do that? Besides, how would she even know? When would he even go to the same university? What if she digs it in order to disqualify him? <laughs> well, well, that's her bag. Because I and my husband have sorted it and we are perfectly fine. They got to take off it. Why did you tell me? My dear, I've tried to explain to him several times, but he just keeps avoiding it, so. Anyway, thank God you married an understanding husband. Because most men will not even think twice of living. Honestly. That's why I just keep thanking God for my blessings every day. God, Sam is just 
God sends it to my leg. Oh, it's okay. Just stay strong for me, okay? Sorry, I forgot I have something on the fire. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Let me just give me time. Listen, I know you were concerned, okay? But I also need you to understand it's called marriage. Can, can we pretend we never had, listen, can we pretend we never had this conversation? Because no matter what you do does not change anything. No matter what you say does not change the fact that I am married to her. Listen, I have to go. I've got work to do. My, my desk is full. I, I need to sign some papers, all right? Thank you, bye. <laughs> and this he told me that thing oh this would be so sweet to you it'd be so nice it's not fine god i love my savvy i love you savvy mm. <laughs> i just love my husband i have the best husband in the world <laughs> It's just so sweet. But what do you think? It's so beautiful. <laughs> so you mean your husband got all this for you? Yep. And his mother and this. Guess what? He's just so nice and sweet. He's I'm so surprised you have not met him. Who would believe that? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> you need to plan for a meeting. ASAP. You need to plan to meet him as soon as possible. Okay. Sammy has just been so good to me. He makes me so happy. I really wish I could do the same. Are you okay? I truly and honestly wish I could make him a happy man. Um, how do you mean? Talk to me. I've never told anyone this before. You can trust me. I don't think I'll be able to give Sammy a child. How do you mean? when I was younger and the doctor said that the doctor said what said that my cervix is damaged and I might not be able to conceive or give birth again but then I am trained and hoping and believing God that his perfect will be returned in my life. I'm just praying. He will. Besides, it's just a month and a few weeks in your marriage. I know. So don't worry, stop worrying. I'm worried, Sonia. I am. I'm worried. Relax. I'm just bored. Tessie, just relax, okay? Worry won't make it happen. Enough of this sad story. Enough of me. What's up with you, baby? What's up with you? The man in your life, you never talk about him. That's the truth. There's no man in my life. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> okay, 
you say that? I don't believe it. How can, how can you say there's no man in your life? That's the place there's no man in my life. I'm serious. You like this? Find girl like you. You say there's no man in your life. You mean there's no man as a man friend, boyfriend, any friend like male creature in your life? Okay. There's this guy. Aha. But he's with someone else. Oh, nah, don't worry. And I will get him when I'm ready. Because I was there first. Mm -hmm. That's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but for seriously, just holler at me when you need us to do some pounding on somebody. You need to this pound and get out of his life. With which hand? Me. This hands? Me. <laughs> me. <laughs> me. This, it's okay. It's okay. I can't pound though. No problem. <laughs> sign those documents now, alright? Just bring them to my office. I'm sorry, I was just trying to find out. Do you love her? I do, I swear. Okay. You see, a friend of mine actually uh, spoke to me about something. And it's actually a secret because he's married, so you know. <laughs> okay. He has a girlfriend. Someone saw his girlfriend and recognized her. To cut a long story short, his girlfriend used to be a stripper before. So tell me, if you were in those shoes, would you still continue with the relationship? Well, um, I think you don't judge people with the past. No, each one of us have funny past, or let me call it past life that we don't choose to remember anymore. So I think I, I believe in the present. What can't and what to really talk about now is the present. Well, to answer your question, yeah. I'll go ahead with that. Okay, uh, let me put it this way for you to understand. Right. Um, okay, what if you end up getting married to your girlfriend? Hmm? And uh, you try to make her pregnant and she doesn't get pregnant. And you go to the doctor and the doctor tells you that she has messed up those organs that can actually make her get pregnant. What are you going to do? Are you going to continue with the relationship or are you going to send her away? That's a little dazzling question, but I'm going to answer it. Um, I believe love stands the test of time. Okay. So if I truly love her that much, I will stand and fight and fight it and with our both feet together. Okay. You know, with God by our side. Alright. I don't know if I'm pleasing or displeasing you. I will marry her. Well, Jamu say you're a very strong man. Oh, so you take my little advice to your friend. No, definitely I will. Alright. Alright. Here, documents signed. Baby. 
I booked an appointment at the hospital. Are you okay? Are you fine? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, I just want us to go for a general medical check. I don't understand. Okay, let me explain. Couples do general medical checkups in case they want to reproduce. Reproduce? Mm -hmm. Do you have a problem with that? <laughs> no, no, um, it's, it's fine. <sighs> okay, I hope your tomorrow is free. Tomorrow? As in tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Okay. Good night. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, hello, Sonia. I'm, I'm so sorry for waking you up. It's fine. What's up? Babe, there is trouble. Are you okay? I don't know. Okay, talk to me. Look, Sammy wants us to go to the hospital for general examination. Why? I don't know, he said he wants us to go and confirm if we're able to reproduce. That is well. My dear, it's strange. He sounds like he's suspecting something. What hospital are you guys going to? His friends, Dr. Diamond of the Deity Allied Hospital. You will be fine. Just go, okay? Look. I don't know if I will be fine, but what if what they said truly happened? Calm down, babe. Nothing is wrong with you. Just go, okay? Can't I just refuse? You will only be confirming his fear if you do that. That's true. Everything will be alright. Thank you. Thank you. I knew I just will be able to talk to you. Thank you very much. Sorry for waking you up. Thank you, dear. Talk later. Alright. Bye. Oh. I think you should come with us to the hospital because we're going to see our doctor. Doctor, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, you know. Just a few channels, you know, couples. <laughs> yeah. I'll be fine, I just need to sleep it up, you know, stress and all. Okay. Kindly let me know, okay? Yeah, see you later. actually like a dream. What if Tessie can't have a child?
Sami, the result will be ready in 72 hours. So, um, I have to call you back then, right? Yes, call me. Calm, 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 calm. Okay. You're welcome. It is done. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I've been trying to reach you. My other line. Okay, I'll... No, 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 I'll, I'll call me here. I'll call me shortly. You, you see me there shortly, sir. Alright, thank you. Very much.
My past is haunting me, Sonia. My past is haunting me. I don't know what to do. It's okay. You should count yourself lucky that he didn't throw you out of the house. What have yeah? I done? No, what have I done? Why is my past haunting me? I just... It's all right. Every one of us has passed. Nobody is perfect. I know, eh? but my imperfection is haunting me down. Oh, it's not your fault that you can't have kids. It is my fault. Okay, it is, but it's not the reason why you should, you should just start treating you this way. After all, you didn't get married for him to start having kids. I know, I don't even know what to do anymore. I don't. It's okay, it's no. okay. Please. <laughs> I'm going out. When my husband comes back, tell him I went out. But I'll be back shortly. Hey, Yes, food and water. Once he finishes, just allow him to go out of the gate. Mm. Mm -hmm. Did you hear me? Yes or no? Yes, yes or no? Yes. You said it. Mm. Alright, just when you finish, jump, jump the place, okay? Mm -hmm. Learn to keep your problem to yourself. Instead of going out to confide in friends, stay back in your house and pray. Yes. Trust no one. Friends are evil. <laughs> Your problem will soon disappear.
and you come for me. Maybe I'm truly sorry. Trust me, everything that happened was out of ignorance. I tried to tell you several times, but you just kept waving it. I really wanted to tell you about it. Today I got married to you, I vow to you, I would love you for the rest of my life. I forgive you from the deepest part of my heart. Thank you. I love you. Love you too, Simon. Hello babe. Sorry I missed your calls. What's up? How are you? I was worried. I haven't heard from you for the past three days now. Hope all is well. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm very well. So how far now? You sound happy but quick. Well, my husband is taking me out for shopping. So <laughs> I need to just get ready and prepare. Oh really? Which of the stores? So I can come. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You guys need to meet. Um, we'll be going to our lady supermarket because we just need to shop for groceries. But wait, till you have to be fast because we'll be leaving in like an hour. All right, see you soon. All right, darling, take care. Bye. Oh, at last. Come on, see him. Let me hear what. Okay. Your dress. Where are you going to? Hi. Um, I'm actually going out with my wife. Oh, where to? Uh, to the mall, to the supermarket, obviously. Mm -hmm. Which one? <laughs> Our lady's supermarket. Oh, that one. Wait, you have a problem with that? No, no, I'm just being curious. I have something to take care of. I'll see you later. Okay. Baby, hurry up. That's it! Tell her. Must you tell her? For you. Go inside that car. Pray hard. Pray very well.
Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's a mock board. That's cool. Which one is it? Oh, it's okay. I knew how funny. Where's what? Are you are you are you stupid? Don't you have people? Are you mad? You get off me. Don't you have respect for people's wives? Get your hands off my. No, no, get off me. Are you stupid? Can you not afford this bad and British shirt? You just broke in my shirt. Why are you bad? What? What? Who are you? What are you talking about? Sir, please, you don't pretend you don't know me. Then I don't know this man. I have never met him in my entire life. I don't even know what he's talking about. Oh, I see. You are the one riding this horse now. Jesus. Oh. Good to you. You look good, uh, taxi. Wait. Look good. Who are you? What are you talking? Babe, I don't know this man. I, I swear, I don't know him more. I I've never seen him before in my life. Hello? What are you doing here? My wife is not. Your around. wife is not around. Relax. Wait. 
How did you know my wife is not work? You're just coming in. I just know. Tell me you don't know something about my wife's kidnapping. <laughs> are you are you joking with me right now? We're more chasing after you. Can we talk about this later? Meet me in my house. And I hope this time you won't be in a hurry. Sure. Tunde. You, my friend, aren't going anywhere except the grave. So, it's been you all along. <laughs> yes, Tessie. And I guess you would like to know how it all started. Don't worry. I'm gonna tell. There you go. My outfit. Wow. That's nice. Please make yourself comfortable. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not laughing anymore. So tell me, where have you been? Well, my dad insists I travel to UK for another degree. So I've been in the UK for the past two years now. Really? Mm -hmm. hmm. I also have my master's degree as well. Wow. You have a master's degree now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's quite impressive. I mean, I've always known you to be a very bright student, you know. You're actually a genius, you know that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so what are you doing here? Well, I'm back in Nigeria now. I got an apartment somewhere in town. Okay. And I'm looking for a very good decoration firm. So, I was directed here. Someone directed you here? Mm -hmm. Wow, what a coincidence, because I actually own this firm. It's a lie. Yeah, I'm into interior decorations. Then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm correct. You married? Oh, yes. 
I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I'm married. I'm married again. Yeah. I actually got married last month. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. What's wrong? You don't look happy. Aren't you happy that I <laughs> married? No, 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 no. I mean, I never expected you to get married. I mean, not so soon. Okay. Have a seat. You see, we both went our separate ways. In fact, you literally disappeared. I didn't see you again. I had to move on with my life. I found someone whom I liked and we eventually got married. So you should be happy for me. I'm happy for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's my wife's photograph. You like it? She's beautiful. <laughs> she is. <laughs> so you're not lying after all. <laughs> no, I wasn't lying. Who lies with something like that? Nobody. Mm. What do I offer you? What are you gonna what are you gonna no, take? No. I mean. Don't bother. For sure. No way. I can't allow this to happen. I can't. address again. I can't find it on my phone. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll send it right away. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I can't see you. You know I have something on fire. No, it's okay. It's okay. Thank, thank you. you. Anyway. I'll call you. Yeah? All right, no Just problem. let me know when you get back to the phone. All right. <laughs> I think I've seen this car in my house before. 
after I saw the picture in your office. I wanted to be sure it was Tessie. So how come I, I saw the car and I didn't see you? Sammy, my conscience will never forgive me to see you walking down the abyss and do nothing about it. And how do you mean? We need to talk. Not here. And not now. I don't want to listen to whatever information you have. Everyone has a past. See, I, I, I don't want to know. If, if my wife... Can we not just talk about this again? I don't want to have this conversation again! Jesus Christ. Sonia, I am a married man. And married men go to their wives after work. So the question is, what am I doing here? What am I doing in your house? You can go back to her. I never come in that was place for food. Okay, I'm here. So what's the problem? If you need it, sit. And if you don't, that is the door. You can go back to her. My conscience will no longer hold me down. Sammy, you deserve the best, and nothing but the best. Get this from. Oh, Sam is not big deal. There is only one more. Wait, 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 Sonia, wait, wait. Are you trying to tell me you've had this video all this while? I, I really want to thank you for looking out for me, all right? Listen, I know you were concerned, okay? But 
but I also need you to understand it's called marriage. So you mean you want to continue with this marriage with that prostitute? What happened with what we shared? How come Sammy you don't deserve her? Listen, can we pretend we never had this conversation? Because no matter what you do does not change anything. No matter what you say does not change the fact that I am married to her. Hello? Hello? Listen, I have to go. I've got work to do. My, my desk is full. I, I need to sign some papers, alright? Thank you, bye. you would like your first son to be a boy, a son who will take over from you. I don't see how that concerns you. And you wouldn't like to wait for years without hope of having kids. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Oh, she didn't tell you. Tell me what? Tessie can't have kids. Yes, ma'am. She doesn't deserve you. Can't you see we are both made for each other? Now, Sonia, whatever you call yourself, this is me. I'm a married man. I love my wife. The earlier you begin to realize that, the better for you. Sonia, long, long time. Dr. Ben. You're welcome. Where did you know this world? I've been around. You're welcome. Thank you. I believe you would like to make some extra cash. Well, that depends on how much you would like to offer. Tessie has not called me. What is going on? Oh. Cut, 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 cut. Sorry.
Hello, babe. Sorry, I missed your calls. What's up? Oh, so sorry. I'm fine. Haven't heard from you for the past three days now. Hope all is well. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm very well. So how far now? You sound happy but quick. Well, my husband is taking me out for shopping, so <laughs> I need to just get ready and prepare. Oh, which of the store so I can come? I guess it's the right time for me to meet your husband. Or what do you think? Yeah, yeah, that's true. You guys need to meet. Um, we'll be going to our lady supermarket because we just need to shop for groceries. But well, wait, till you have to be fast because we'll be leaving in like an hour. Okay, no problem. I will be right there, okay? Alright, darling. Take care. Bye. Oh, at last. Yes! Sammy was mine. Yes, like I told the story, we used to date before I traveled out. You never told me, Sonia. You never told me. It doesn't matter. Sonia always gets what Sonia wants, and I want him back. So you have been playing me all along? To have Sammy, I will be dead first because the Sammy I know will never leave me for you. That is never. the point. That is the point. How do you know what I'm gonna do to you? You see, if Sammy hasn't told me what you just said right now, I would have spared your life. So you are going to kill me, right? <laughs> Clap for yourself. You got something right. I think I will save him a long time stress since my stories and the kidnapping couldn't make him walk out of your marriage. What are you still waiting for? Kill me already! What, what are you waiting for? Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Don't be in a hurry to die, okay? Besides, I don't want to soil my hands with your blood. <laughs> I just wanted him back. Hmm? And one more thing. Learn to keep your problems to yourself. You will get what you deserve. I promise you, Sonia. You will get what you deserve. You will get it. I promise you, I promise, Sonia. You will get what you deserve. You will. Okay. Finish the job.
Funny. You stop! Hold it right there. What do you think you're doing? I said hold it right there. I'm here to ask you one question. Which is? Do you have a hand in my wife's disappearance? Do you? Sammy, I love you. But accusing me of your wife's kidnap? Sonia, I never accused you in any way. I just asked you a simple question. I need one more favor from you. I need an injectable drug. <laughs> now, my boys will come for you. My house 3 p.m. Stand up and let's go. Move, let's go. You don't want me to talk to my lawyer. Good boy. Move. I'll so go talk to you. 
I'll sue you too.